have like a, uh, any lessons that you've learned so far this year? I think the number one thing is probably um, living in the moment because if you can do that and you can just sit there and be grateful for even the bad things and the good things, then you will have peace. Sage advice from Gwen Stefani, who split from Gavin Rossdale in August. E.T. caught up with the singer as she gears up for her big MasterCard show in New York City. What's priceless to you? I've been so blessed with such an incredible, extraordinary life, like from the very beginning of time, just in my own family and then continuing on to be able to make music. It gives everyone so much pleasure and to be able to write it and express myself and to be able to capture my feelings and then share that with people is really priceless. I loved something that you said to Time Magazine. You said that you are so proud and that you cherish every minute of your career. I never ever thought of myself as a career kind of person or having a career. I really didn't know. I was so passive in high school, like I didn't really have any, I just wanted to be a mom. And so for me to look back and look at all of the stuff that um, I was so blessed to be part of, I just, I just can't even believe it. Don't be we want to know. Do your kids listen to your classic No Doubt albums? They do not. Ooh. I took them to Aspen and it was, it was super cool and um, I feel like that's the first time that they've seen the show. And Kingston was like, Mom, were you drunk? Because the way you were acting, you were like, you were telling the audience like you knew them or something? Like what were you saying? <laughs> I was like, first of all, no, I wasn't. And no, how do you even know about drunk? And second of all, third of all, like what are you talking about? But um, they don't really know all those songs at all, at all, at all. They don't. Right. But I know that Kingston definitely wants me to write hits. He's like, "Mom, you gotta write a hit." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs>